So today we're going to be talking about how to make your man feel appreciated so that they don't really feel like they're taking, being taken for granted. Because the biggest complaint that guys make nowadays about their women is that they just don't feel appreciated. If you learn how to make a guy feel appreciated, you're, you're, you're going to have a very healthy relationship. But there's a caveat here. Make sure that the guy that you're using this on is consistent. Because Ryan, one of the things about him is that he's also consistent with his woman. And so she, she reciprocates his consistency with praise and what are the things that we're going to be going to be talking about. But you cannot be doing this with a Bronx ass dude who, 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 sorry, it's all the other Bronx guys, sorry for people, man, because Bronx people, you know, right? You can't be doing this with people who are not consistent, who are abusive, who, who, who put you down, who don't praise you in front of people, who make you feel appreciated. You can't be doing that. So this is for people who are behaving the right way. This is for people who are doing what they have to do, okay? Not for, not for fucking Juan the gang man. Another thing that I want you is that if you, you have to really feel this. If you have unrealistic standards for men, meaning demanding that a guy flies you here, flies you there, does a sprinter rule and he's six pack, Chad, Jacob Chad, all the girls want him, but he's faithful to you for some reason. Like, like, like he's the top, top, top guy, and for some reason he elects you. What are we doing here? That's not possible. You, you got to learn to appreciate the simple people. The local electrician who makes a good living. The local freaking lawyer. Well, that's a pretty big right there. You know, like simple people. Too many people have unrealistic expectations. You guys want the celebrities. If this is for, if this is what you want, then you know what? Every guy that you're with is never gonna feel appreciated, because he, he can sense that you're not really even there for him. You just want something that everyone else wants. You're you're fucked in the head. Your 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 expectations for men are wrong. It's the simple things. He's there for you. He works a nine to five. When he gets home, he's happy to see you. If you cannot appreciate that, you cannot do what this video says. It's just that simple. You got to take a break from dating and social media to recalibrate your standards so that they don't go out and do something they shouldn't do so that they can appreciate you more. Because at the end of the day, when a man feels appreciated, when somebody feels appreciated, they fall in love deeper. Okay, so one of the things that I really like th that she does is that they publicly praise each other. That to me, you'd be surprised how many people who are couples don't publicly praise each other. They either talk negatively about each other or they don't even compliment each other at all. But the best thing that they do about each other is that they compliment each other in front of other people. You guys do not understand how, how validating it feels to hear your partner talk positively about you in front of you, in front of other people. So let's let's watch a, a video where um, Blake Lively is talking about Ryan, and notice how she talks about him. And for me, it's not just the fact that she's talking about him; it's the fact that she is emphasizing how she he makes her feel protected. Okay, and that feeling of being protected is very important to a guy. It makes a guy feel like they belong. It makes a guy feel like they have a job, and that's just, that's actually very important. A guy needs to feel. Like you feel protected around him or else, well, like, like the a guy needs to feel like a man. And, and the most important thing that you have to do is let him know you feel safe around him. Watch this. Go on the other side of him, you know, just to, it's your instinct to yeah. try to have your protector protect you. Yeah. But, you know, if we're walking with a stroller, I don't know where we're walking with strollers with strategy figures, but just to give you, <laughs> right, right, you know, right. the emotional parallel, now I go and I stand in front and like yeah. go towards the, the, the figure. You know, it's just like, <laughs> it's very, it's very primal, that, that mama bear thing. That, yeah. There are things right? that you that do, that like if I was walking with my husband that, late at By the way, if you're dating someone, you want to make them feel appreciated. Similar how Blake Lively makes Ryan Randall feel appreciated. Well... Just click in the description down below where you can work with me one on one and I'll show you guys the strategy that she implements and I'll show you how to implement it in your life. So if you're dating someone you want and you feel like they don't feel that appreciation, I could definitely help you out and also teach you guys other strategies to make somebody fall in love with you and to make the connection that you already have with this person more deeper and more and make them feel more connected. So click in the description down below where it says work with me one on one or else I'm going to have to close the channel. And that sensation is very important because a guy wants to feel like a man. A guy wants to feel powerful. And guys feel powerful when they feel like women, like the women in their life depends on them. Like the women in their lives feel safe around them. Especially her saying it in the public light.
right? So don't just verb, don't just keep things to yourself. See, see, this is my problem as a person, right? This is actually a mistake that I make is that I kind of don't tell people how I feel. I show them how I feel, right? So maybe their love language is verbally tame people, right? But you got to find out what is this person's love language and communicate and try to communicate that you feel safe around them. Why? Because around you, he's going to feel strong. Around you, he's going to feel more secure. Around you, he's going to feel more like a man. And guys gravitate towards people who make them feel that way, who makes them feel like they are strong. Because a man's masculinity is measured by how, what women think of them. Like that, I mean, it, it, it sounds superficial and silly, but un understand we are animals. We are not rational creatures that we assume that we are, right? Now, the next thing that I really like about them, and it goes in the, in the same light as this, but it's the public appraisal of, of your partners. Publicly praising your partner. It's not, just a fact, it's not just a fact about feeling protected, but publicly praising. And not just that, it's the, it's the ability to be able to know these things. It's the paying attention to detail. You make somebody feel appreciated, not just by verbally praising them, but, be, but by paying so much attention that you notice the little things that they do. That shows you they love you. For example, there was once a lawyer talking about what leads to um, 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 divorce, right? And he said that the number one thing that leads to divorce is when you stop doing the little things. In other words, a, a woman, he asked a woman who was getting a divorce, what, re what made you realize you, it, the relationship was over? And she said this, when I looked inside the refrigerator and, 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 and the guy didn't bring me the, cu the cupcakes that he always brings. It's no big deal. I could get them myself. But now she notices that that little detail he stopped doing. And that's when she realized the voice was eminent. In the same light, it's not just the fact that you are telling people these things. It's the fact that you pay attention, that you love that person so much that you notice the things that he does for you that makes you happy. And now you talking about it in public makes them feel that it makes them, it confirms to them the feeling that you gave them of you paying complete attention. Listen up. He races home, whether it's from across the globe or a meeting across the street. He is hardwired to get home. If he came home from set, so one she she understands his thought process. So remember, I'm I'm not just showing, I'm not just telling you to publicly praise people, but just have the ability to notice those things because just noticing. Because I notice when you notice. People notice when you notice. It's a, it's a plus when you tell. But the noticing is the thing that hits you at the heart, at the core. Right? Knowing that his values is his family. Knowing that he values that value. And letting him know that you appreciate that you know that you value what he values. Not in his wardrobe. We would be very concerned. <laughs> soaked in mud right now what he's feeling is a sense of nothing could give him this this much joy honestly it really does fake blood like the real blood crazy. prosthetic scars really really superhero suits tap shoes or clown makeup daddy always comes home and that man races back to his real life like nothing i have ever right so as you could tell she knows that's a sacrifice that he's doing so that's another thing. Acknowledge their sacrifice. If a man is paying you for, for your dinner, acknowledge it. If a man is, is, is taking you on vacation, acknowledge it. Don't take it for granted. Don't say, mm, you didn't take me to first class, bitch. You know how many times I heard that from, from other clients, like clients that had women, that they complain about that type of shit? Like ungrateful people, you know? And, and so what I like about this is the fact that she doesn't need to say these things, man, honestly. For real, for real, she doesn't need to say these things. She doesn't, you know? And, and, and just by his reaction tells me, this is the reaction that you want. Is that sensation of being appreciated? Because rarely do people notice the little things that we do for them. Like, not our loved ones, but like the people around us. If you're actually a good person, you do a lot of little things that people just don't notice. The one time that somebody notices it and tells about it, come on, man. Seen. Especially not by someone who's able to be so all in in his work life. He's able to somehow be everything to everyone all at mm -hmm. once. He is the most present person you will ever meet. And these things, you rarely hear anyone get their flowers while they are alive. And you know what you hear a lot about guys, honestly? Ladies, listen to me. Get a little closer. Is that they just don't feel appreciated by their women. Just praise the guy. Praise the guy in public. 
Let let other people know that the man that you're with is your man. Let him feel like he could protect you. Even though he can't, he, even though he might be a freaking twig, let him feel like he could protect you. Do never, never let a man feel like you're not safe around him. Never let a man feel like you don't acknowledge the sacrifice that he makes. You don't acknowledge the sacrifices that he's making for being with you. For example, it's like women who want to get celebrities, right? A woman who wants to get a celebrity who gets a lot of women. And she wants him to stop getting all that poom poom for her. And it's like, you got to realize that. I, I, I see it from this perspective. You're really telling a guy to sacrifice a once in a lifetime opportunity for you. And then when you're with him, you're not even appreciative that he's letting go of that lifestyle that a bunch of guys would love to have all for you. A lot of people just don't acknowledge the sacrifice that it takes just to be with one person. And, and, you, ha and, and you have to find a way to make people feel like you understand that being with you is, has, is some sort of sacrifice. And that you love that. And that you will never take that for granted. Too many people expect things to be given to them without being acknowledged because we think that's what should be done. Get what I'm saying? Let's continue. Now, the next part that I like about this is that one? Just notice this, right? And this to me is is a reflection of something bigger. It's the fact that she's not a pushover, right? If she, when she's not, a, just notice. Your notice the way she talks. From Green Lantern, about, Ryan Reynolds. Lantern right? come and gone, all that stuff. And uh, we were both single. We went on a double date with. She was on a date with another guy, and I was on a date with another girl, and that was the most. And this awkward is a story date for their that they respective. always talk about, right? Um, this is why it's always good to have a good story, good, a good way that you met can be made through a strip club because then you're gonna have to repeat that story. Like, like for him, I, I, there were no fireworks for me. <laughs> no. I, there was no fireworks for me. Lol. No, yeah, right? you know, we we were such good friends for for so long, and we got to know when we both got to know each other, we got to know each other. And I friends. believe the way to really have a long lasting relationship is through me, is to meet and be friends, is to be friends first. And so when we were both single, we were still trying to find each other's so, oh, who no, would, who? I, I wanted to show you that part because of the way she talks she was like oh he felt that chemistry not me right I, I wanna I wanna emphasize something there's something bitchy about her that's really nice right that she's willing to poke fun at him and, and you know how many times guys date women who are afraid of losing them to the point where they're not even willing to criticize them they're not willing to to challenge them they're not willing to talk shit they're not willing to push their buttons these things tell guys that you are not authentic and your opinion and your praise will not will not be worth as much. The praise that you give should always be balanced out with criticism. The praise that you give should always be balanced out by silence. In other words, you should give praise, but also, if you're gonna be giving a lot of praise, also give them the impression that you're not just praising them just for the sake of it. That that and the way that you do that, honestly, the way you do that is that you just have to be willing to walk away. Have standards, have have a certain way that you demand people to treat you so that when you do praise people, it hits harder. Because the praise of people who are not willing to walk away, the praise of people who are sycophants, the praise of people who never, who are afraid to upset you, doesn't really land as praise. It lands as noise. When they know there's a side of you that's willing to walk, that's willing to, to, to ruin the relationship, to, to leave this, all because you're not, you, you're not willing to appreciate me for who I am, that fear, that tension makes the pleasure and the praise that, they, that you give to them it land harder because it softens them up, all right? So praise the people in front, in, praise your man in front of people. Publicly praise them. Make them feel like you, are, you feel protected around them, that you feel safe. And also make them feel that you're not a pushover, that your praise comes from a real place, that your praise doesn't come from a place of wanting to just get their validation but from a desire to let them know that you are someone special and that I appreciate you, all right? Okay? All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Let me know who else you guys want me to. If you guys want to learn how to make a guy fall in love with you, I actually have a few bundle deals that I have to offer you guys. One is the wifey, is the basic wifey bundle. It's not basic, but you know, because I have a bigger bundle. Um, this one's pretty much about it's a course about natural chemistry, which is about for women who are in relationships and want to learn how to keep the guy and make the guy that they're currently dating fall in love even harder by creating boundaries, by learning how to embrace the masculine and the feminine. It's pretty much a, a type of 
course that helps women in relationships, for make the guy fall in love. And then the other one is the Psychological Game of Attraction, which is a course for women who are in relationships, right? For women who are single, per se, right? And this one would get, would take, I would personally take you through the first three months of a relationship, right? Because in the first three months, if the relationship doesn't happen, it's not gonna work out, okay? So this is, it's, it's a guide for women who are single, women who are in relationships so this course is specifically made for the first three months of any relationship because i believe that if the person doesn't want a relationship within the first three months it's not going to work out right so check it out right now click in the description down below where it says purchase the bundle and i'll see you guys later while i'm closing the channel